Hi everyone, you're welcome back to our YouTube channel. This is the Skyline Institute. You're welcome to today's lecture of the Sky Math series. For more videos and educational content, please follow us on Instagram at Skyline Institute GH and on Facebook and YouTube at Skyline Institute Ghana. Remember to also subscribe to our channel and give this video a thumbs up. You can also send in your comments, questions and feedback in the comment section below. And you can let us know other topics you'd be interested in learning. So today we'll be looking at change of subjects. Do all to stay tuned. Here are the steps to follow in order to make a letter the subject. You first you clear any roots, fractions and brackets present. And then you put the terms containing the new subject's letter on one side of the equation and all other terms on the other side. Next, factorize the terms on each side of the equation. And then you keep only the new subject on one side of the equation. Let's look at some examples. Given MR plus N plus MP plus Q, make M the subject of the relation. So here we have MR plus N equals MP plus Q. Clearly there's no root sign or fraction or bracket. And so we start from the second step. We put the terms containing the new subject letter on one side of the equation and all other terms on the other side. Here we want to make M the subject. The terms containing M are MR and MP. So what we do is we move MR and MP to one side of the equation. So to do this, we move MP to the left side of the equation, giving us MR minus MP. And then the next thing we do is we factorize M out to get M times R minus P equals Q minus N. We then divide both sides by R minus P to get rid of the R minus P multiplying our M. Then we are only left with M on the left hand side giving us M equals Q minus N over R minus P. Let's look at another example. Make P the subject of the relation 3S minus PQ equals 2 times P plus U. So here we have a bracket. So we start off by clearing our bracket. And we do that by multiplying our 2 by P plus U. And so 3S minus PQ equals 2 times p plus u becomes 3s minus pq equals 2p plus 2u. Next, we group the terms containing the letter we are looking for. Here, we want to make p the subject, so we group the terms pq and 2p on one side of the equation. Now, because the term pq has a negative sign in front of it, what I'll do is I'll move it to the right-hand side of the equation so that my negative becomes a positive. Remember, anytime a letter or a variable moves from one side of an equation to the other side, the sign changes. And so over here, I'll move my PQ to the other side to get 2P plus PQ. And then I'll move on to factor my P out. Now this gives me 3S minus 2U equals P into bracket 2 plus Q. To make the P the subject, what we do is we divide both sides by 2 plus Q. And this gives us P equals 3S minus 2U over 2 plus Q. Let's look at another example. Given Y equals 2R plus half pi R, make pi the subject of the relation. So we can see that this equation has a fraction. And so we first have to clear our fraction. Now we clear our fraction by multiplying through every term by our LCM, that's our lowest common multiple. Now the LCM of this equation is simply the denominator of our only fraction, 2. So multiplying through by 2 gives us 2y equals 4r plus pi r. Now we want to make pi the subject, so we keep the term containing pi on one side of the equation. So what we have to do is we move 4r to the other side of the equation to give us 2y minus 4r equals pi r. Now to get pi standing alone, 
we divide both sides by r because r is multiplying our pi this further gives us pi equals 2y minus 4r all over r example 4 make u the subject of the relation 1 over f equals 1 over v plus 1 over u so this equation has three fractions and so we start by clearing all our fractions now to clear our fractions we multiply through each term by our lcm over here because we have three fractions you find your lcm by multiplying all the denominators that is a product of all three denominators giving us f v u so we multiply through by f v u to clear our fraction so f v u times 1 over f f v u times 1 over v plus f v u times 1 over u gives us v u equals f u plus f v this is because f crosses out f v crosses out the v and then u crosses out u leaving v u equals f u plus f v we want to make u the subject so we move all the terms containing u to one side of the equation giving us v u minus f u equals f v next we factorize our u giving us u into brackets v minus f equals f v then finally we divide both sides of our equation by v minus f this gives us u equals f v over v minus f example 5 make j the subject of the relation t equals to 2 pi square root l over j so in this example we have a square root and so we start off by clearing our square root note that in an example where there's a square root a fraction in the bracket you clear in the specific order square root fraction and bracket so over here we want to clear our square root now to do that we square both sides of our equation to give us t squared equals 2 pi square root l over g all squared now to square the term in a bracket we use the laws of indices so we square the individual members of the term giving us 2 squared times pi squared times square root l over g all squared now this gives us 4 pi squared and l over g because the square root crosses out the square so next we, we multiply through by g to clear our fraction and this gives us t squared g equals 4 pi squared l now making g the subject we divide through by t squared to give 4 pi squared l over t squared here are a few practice questions for you make you the subject of the relation v equals 1 over 4 square root 25 minus u squared make pi the subject of the relation t equals to 2 pi square root l over g you can type your answers in the comment section thank you so much for watching remember to subscribe to our youtube channel by clicking on the subscribe button see you next time bye bye <laughs>